Hey everyone, welcome to VAC Kids. My name is Max and I am so excited that you are here with us today. We are now in our second week on our brand new series called Pumpkin Parables. This series is all about talking about some of the small stories that Jesus told that have big meanings. There's a lot of things that Jesus told that seemed really small at first, but with some time and some growth, you'll realize that they are a lot more important to our lives. And I have a question. Have you guys ever grown a pumpkin from a seed? I mean, pumpkin seeds are tiny, like this big. These little seeds that you plant in the ground, these are very light and don't seem to have much in them. But with some time and some care, that little seed begins to grow. And it grows into a vine, and into a bigger vine, into a bigger vine, and then into some flowers which then turn into pumpkins. And these pumpkins that come from that little lightweight seed can grow so big that they can be 12 to 18 pounds large. That is gigantic. That all came from that little seed. It's amazing to think what a little seed can do. Just like a small seed can grow into a big plant, Jesus can use small bits of faith that we have to do some amazing things. It just takes some time, some hard work, and help from God. And our little bit of faith can be used by Jesus for so much more. And we'll get to that in a bit. But first, let's go over our monthly memory verse. It's found in Psalm chapter 25, verse 4. And it says this, Lord, show me your ways. Teach me how to follow you. God teaches us his ways through things like the Bible and through the stories that he told, these small parables that turn into big lessons, where his way of teaching us how we should live. And because of how good God is and how great Jesus is and how good these stories are, he is something that we should build our life upon, that we should worship him and follow him with all of our life. And so let's sing a song together. Let's stand up. And this is a great song. And if you are a part of our, our, our children's Christmas choir, you will know this song probably by now. It's called Build My Life. So let's do this, guys. Let's worship God together.
Good job, guys. I love hearing you guys sing. Now go back to the pumpkins. When you visit a pumpkin patch or pick up one from the bin at the grocery store, you get to see months and months of hard work done by farmers. You see, a lot of work goes into making the tiny little seeds into the big juicy fruit that we know. The big the orange fruit. We get to enjoy the fruits of the farmer's labor. Literally, we literally enjoy their fruit. And it takes time. We don't see the work that the farmer put in, but we know it's there because they wouldn't have grown elsewise. But we can see where it starts. All you gotta do is crack open a pumpkin and inside you find seeds. And those little seeds can be used to grow more pumpkins. Those tiny little seeds grow into a large plant. The reason I'm telling this is because it reminds us of today's story. A story that, a couple of stories that Jesus told where something small is used for big things. Let's check it out. It's found in the book of Matthew, which is in the New Testament. Which is right here. Oh, went past it. Matthew chapter 13. Verses 31 to 34. Let's hear what God has to say. Jesus told the crowd another story. He said, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. Someone took the seed and planted it in a field. It is the smallest of all seeds. But when it grows, it is the largest of all garden plants. It becomes a tree, and birds come and rest in its branches. Jesus told them still another story. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast, he said. A woman mixes it into 60 pounds of flour. The yeast works its way all through the dough. Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd using stories. He did not say anything to them without telling a story. You see, Jesus told two stories there. The first one involves a tiny little seed called a mustard seed. And it's, it's really tiny, trust me. And if you don't know, have a look. Maybe you have some in your kitchen. Or if you don't, ask your mom and dad or grandma or grandpa to help you search up what a mustard seed looks like. And then next, look up what a mustard tree looks like, and you'll be amazed. That tiny little seed grows into a giant tree. The second story Jesus told was about yeast. And yeast is a tiny organism that you put often in when making bread, for dough for bread. And a little bit of yeast is all it needs to make a big pound of dough. Because you see, when you add it to the dough, the yeast does its work. And that little bit of dough begins to grow and grow and grow and grow. And this is what makes bread so fluffy and light. That's, it's the yeast doing its work. Both these stories Jesus told involved something tiny, tiny, but it did a lot of work. The reason Jesus told this story was to help people understand their faith. You see, we don't need to have every answer for all the questions. We don't need to know everything or do everything correctly all the time. All Jesus needs for us is a tiny bit of faith. And you see, that little bit of faith grows and grows and grows and becomes so much bigger but it takes time and it takes work. Just like how a tree grow, growing in the ground needs time as well as it needs water and soil and sunlight and carbon dioxide to grow, 
Our faith needs things to grow. Just like the yeast, to make something grow, it needs a flower, it needs the water, and it actually needs some heat as well. Not a ton, but a little bit of warmth. And when it does, it causes the dough to rise and rise and grow. It takes work to grow our faith. But the beautiful thing is that God doesn't need us to have all those answers. He just needs that little tiny seed of faith and believing in him. And he will take it. And with some time, it will grow. But not just with time, it needs work. We need to put effort into growing our faith and we can do that by doing things that god tells us to do for example we can do it by worshiping him and worshiping doesn't just involve doing songs worship is praising god in all aspects of our life it also involves listening to people who know about god whether that's your mom or dad grandma or grandpa or a leader at church going to church is a great way to help us grow our faith because we get to Go and enjoy learning about God with other people who believe him and get to have fun and talk with them. Another way is through praying. When we pray, we get to talk to God and help ask him for help, but also get to praise him for the good things that he has done and just, or just have a conversation with him. Another thing we can do is read the Bible. The Bible is known as God's word. And so when we read it and listen to it and do what it's and follow what it tell, teaches us, we're actually listening to what God is telling us and hearing from God. And there's so many other great ways to listen and grow our faith. But this takes time and effort. Just like the farmer who plants the pumpkin seeds. Just like the person who planted the mustard seed or the woman who made the bread with the yeast. It takes time takes effort but god can take a little bit of faith and grow it into something big and the good thing is that it's not just meant for us we're not meant to become big like a tree just because we want to and to help us grow but just like the the tree was there to be a shelter for birds and other animals we are meant to help other people with our faith we can do as God said and take care of people and help them be kind to people. We can also teach people about who Jesus is and tell them about our faith. Because when we tell other people about Jesus, it helps them start that little seed of faith. And with, their, with time and some effort, and some hard work, that seed will grow into a big tree for another person to come up and learn from. And this isn't easy, but the great thing is God is there to help us. He wants to help direct us and guide us to do what is right. So let's pray and thank God for what he's done. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the work that has been done. We thank you that we can just use a small bit of faith to grow into something big. And I pray that no matter how big our seed is, that we would take the time to cultivate it to give, give it water, to give it sunlight, and to help it grow. I pray that we would have the patience to do so and the ability to listen to what you are saying. And so Lord, I pray for my friends as week as, they, as they're at home and they're at school or whatever they're doing, that they would just remember that small bit of faith is all they need and you can help us with the rest. So we thank you and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, awesome, guys. I am so thankful you joined us for another great story in our Pumpkin Parable series. And I hope you can see you guys next week right here at BAC Kids. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you again. Bye, guys. No, I won't be afraid.